personally I get uh, at most two calls a day, uh, but some other volunteers get four. Uh, four. And uh, if you had to give a general vision on how many victims did uh, VDS help so far? Well, I think that uh, VDS helps uh, about three to four hundred victims a year, and that would mean that uh, by now, for this ten or more years of existence, uh, VDS helps more than a few thousand. Every day is different. <laughs> Here because uh, every time it's something uh, people call for something else. Every case is different. And um, what kind of victims? Uh, domestic ones, um, workplace violence, uh, fraud, uh, rape, um, forced uh, taking away um, their. Um, the things uh, that are they okay. um, that, um, and uh, the victims who call are um, the victims of um, mobbing or uh, harassment at work but I also receive some phone calls from victims of violence in families and they are mostly women who call about uh, problems with their husbands and etc. was about uh, the um, forced uh, taking away uh, the plot uh, from the story uh, was about harassment at the workplace and Nick was a man who works at the university and his colleagues were constantly giving him jobs that he is not qualified for or <laughs> stuff. and they gave him jobs like um, buying a man who will clean this toilet So, for example, the last uh, phone call you took, what was it about? Uh, domestic violence. This um, a long story. Is one person uh, uh, who um, has a problem uh, with a brother and her mother, and uh, it uh, it is uh, for a long time, um, and um, she needs at the first place the emotional support. Well, the last story was a woman who had troubles with, uh, with her husband and he uh, beat her and then he thrown her out of the apartment and now she's battling him at court to get custody over the, ch uh, the children and uh, she hoped that we can help her uh, move the children to a safe house and I gave her the location of the nearest safe house in her city. <laughs> the last yeah. one, yeah, that was some girl from uh, some private uh, uh, high school from Belgrade, and she worked in a student's um, service, and she uh, suffered from uh, her, uh, how to say in English, uh, it's not boss, it's a little uh, higher than boss, I don't know the word. Uh, she was uh, suffering for a long time and she had some she has now some psychological problems because of that and uh, now she stopped to work there I called her today to see how, how she is now and she she says she finds some uh, she finds some chance for a new job and I'm very happy when something uh, uh, is solved on good way, it's not always case. Is there one phone call you'll always remember? Maybe uh, the one person uh, who called me and uh, uh, she uh, told me uh, that uh, she doesn't uh, feel safe and that uh, uh, her husband uh, is um, Treating uh, her that uh, he will kill her, and uh, we don't have uh, time to talk. Send me quickly, quickly. I need that information. Have okay. uh, time 
to give her, her the number uh, uh, where he can where she can uh, call and uh, go uh, go at some uh, safe place. Not necessarily my victim, uh, my victim uh, with who I spoke. Sometimes it's uh, with uh, maybe somebody from here spoke with that victim, but the uh, case is, uh, uh, could be very, very hard and I go home with uh, that in my mind. And uh, I, I didn't have some uh, uh, domestic violence with children involved in uh, my experience, uh, but that uh, is what touching me most of all when I heard from colleagues here when children suffering from domestic violence and that uh, woman, uh, women <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, suffering on a workplace, uh, but uh, on very, how say, um, hard way when there is uh, include uh, uh, sexual harassment and uh, uh, psychological and physical part and uh, it's uh, I have in my mind some case what is, how say, um, I can put out of my head yeah. for a long time.